Hi, in this lesson, I am going to introduce you to Android Studio and get you acquainted with the UI elements. After installing Android Studio, you will end up seeing a bunch of files and menu items. Of course, if this is your first time, it might look a little bit intimidating, but it's nothing complex. The first thing we will treat is the toolbar. The toolbar is above and it lets you carry out a wide range of actions. You can open recent projects. You can also check settings and general things you normally see in the file menu of IDEs. When you want to run your app, you can also run it using one of the menu items here. You might also notice some icons over here. So let's go over what some of these mean. When you're ready to run your app, you use this green button to run your app. So you click on it and choose your virtual device. I'll go over choosing virtual devices in the next lesson. The navigation bar helps you navigate through your project to open files for editing. So I can open my app, source folder, main, java, and I can choose a file, in this case, main activity. Once you open a file, you would be able to see it in the editor window. This is where you work and write most of your code. If you open multiple files, you will see them listed, just like your tabs in your browser. I have my Java file open. I also have a layout file. Once you click a layout file, you will see the layout editor. This is used to edit the UI of your application. You have drag and drop. I can drag a button and drop a button. If you want to edit your UI manually using code, below you will see design and text. Once you click on text, you will see the code of the UI. I can easily edit this code anytime I wish to do a more complex UI layout. Over in the left, you have your tool window. You have your Java folder. Under your Java folder, you have where your main activity is. Then the second folder you would like to check out is the REST folder. This is your resource folder where you have your layouts, your images, and the general resources that the app is going to utilize. You also have your gradual files over here. You have what we call manifest. Every app must have an Android manifest. The manifest describes the essential information about your Android app. We will be working with these files throughout this course. Your IDE also has a theme. My theme is a dark theme. Your theme may be a light theme. So your Android Studio might have a white background. Like I have said, it doesn't change the functionality. The more you use Android Studio, the more you get acquainted with its functionality and what it offers. My current Android Studio is Android Studio 3.4. Normally, Android Studio releases updates and you can keep updating to get the latest features. In the next lesson, we are going to create a virtual device so we can run our application. I hope to see you in the next lesson where I will guide you on running your first Android app.